Now let's start to assemble some of the other pieces of our geometry. So as I said, in my project files, I'm working with the geometry that I created back in project one. So if you've got that, uh, make sure that you uh, take a look at that and reuse it if you can. So we've got the belt. Um, let's look at some of the other uh, pieces that we want to go ahead and bring in. And these are pieces that I built in Maya that we didn't do anything to. We didn't sculpt or anything. And so we can actually, they're low enough that we can reuse those. So I'm thinking about the hooks. And we can go ahead and bring that down into our game. The hinges, I think will both work. Okay. The, uh, the sashes, and we don't need the armband because that's been included in that low res base mesh. Now we do have all the pads and all of the pads, if we isolate these, all of the pads will work as is. The only problem is we have the same issue on some of these larger pieces that we had with the cowl. And that is that the silhouette is really, really chunky. And so what I would do is I would just do the exact same thing I did with the wood. Let's actually smooth it to get that silhouette. And then I'm just going to cut off half of it and then go in and I'll do the exact same thing I did with uh, the wood. So coming in here and looking at, you know, maybe there are some edges that we can get rid of. So maybe this one is extraneous. You can see it doesn't change the shape very much. And then we can come in here and for instance, you know, in some of these areas, we can start to get rid of some of these edges. So looking at this and we can kind of see where it ends up down here. Go ahead and delete that. We get rid of this one and this one. And it's just now going to be kind of cleaning up this geometry. That actually ends up defining kind of the edge there. So from here we can go in and we can start to merge together. You can see and start to move some points around a little bit and kind of smooth things out a little. And we can just get this down a bit lower, just like we did with the other piece. And you can see in here, we can really start to take our resolution down as we start to consolidate some of these points together as they come off of the bottom. Again, keeping, keeping the, uh, the number here, but then as we start to come up in to the top here, we can really reduce that number. Okay. Starting to merge some of these together and across. All right. So something like that, you just want to keep going here. You can see that we've got several points that have been kind of brought down here. And so a real quick way to fix that would just be to draw this out across like that and then go in and get rid of these points or these edges, kind of like that. And then we could do the same thing here and get rid of those. And if you want to merge those together, again, making sure to keep the perimeter. All right. For things like the belt pad, this is like super low resolution. And so I'm just going to actually smooth this one time. And I think that's probably good. We keep that. And, you know, you could come in here and get rid of a few of these lines, but it was so, res so low resolution to start with. Same thing with these. We can go ahead and just smooth those down for the pads. So we'll grab those pads and we can move them down. Obviously, you want to finish the one for the cowl, the resolution for it. And then we also have the wood pieces, uh, the hip pieces. And so again, same technique, I'll go ahead and smooth it. And then look at that. I think that's probably, it's going to be a little bit chunky, but I think that's okay. Take a look and see if there are any of these edges we can get rid of. Usually the one around the, the top there is one we can get rid of there. And then I think we can even get rid of this middle one like that. And you could come in and merge those, but I think it's pretty low res already. And I'm going to leave the, the mirroring until later. And so I'm actually going to get rid of this one. And let's actually get rid of the pad as well. 
just because it's going to be a little bit easier when we uh, create the UVs to then mirror it after that. Because if we mirror that before, then we'll have to create UVs twice. Um, you can do some, you can transfer UVs as well. Since I'm here at the beginning anyway, I'll go ahead and wait to mirror those over. So let's take the wood and move it down into our group. And now we're done with that. And so now this is going to be the geometry we're working with. You can see I haven't mirrored the body yet, but we've got kind of the, the pieces assembled in here. So the next thing that we want to do is start to work on some UVs and completing the geometry. So we'll work on the, the eyes first. We want to get the UVs done and then separate it out into materials because that's how Substance Painter is going to uh, view our geometry. We want to separate it in a way that makes sense for us. So we'll do that next.